Good evening and welcome back to the channel Carl Smith Loves Travel and Exploring. So just a little update. <clears throat> there is going to be a Mallorca series coming up very soon. As late last night, early hours of this morning, I booked three nights in Mallorca, staying at the Cal at Calabona. So basically, Calabona and Calamalor are resorts that are next to each other. So you can basically walk them. So it's a couple of kilometres, so you can walk along this beach path. Um, and there's plenty of bars and restaurants you can stop at. There's shops as well. And obviously, of course, there's the beach. So you can walk along this promenade from one resort to the next. So it's on the east coast of the island. So looking on the map, you land obviously in Palma, um, which is Palma's equivalent of Heathrow, because it's got two runways either side. You've got the airport in the middle and the runways are either side. It's a very busy airport, the equivalent of Heathrow, basically, um, in the summer anyway. And obviously during cruise period, people go to Palma to, on cruises, particularly on Morella Discovery 2, which I believe is going there at the moment. Um, obviously, the, and also the Explorer 2 has been there, the Discovery 1 has been there, Morella, Thompson Spirit has been there, and other cruise lines dock there as well. So Tuesday is obviously a busy day because that's when people are flying in and out of Palma to go home or join cruises. So anyway, so I'll be heading out to Palma, Mallorca um, just a, in just around a fortnight's time-ish. Um, I'm going with Jack 2 from East Midlands, like I did when I went to Ibiza at the end of May. Um, the flight's five minutes earlier than the Ibiza one, it's 10 to 8. So I'm going to get to the airport about 4 o'clock. The car's booked in for 4 o'clock anyway, so I'll probably get there about quarter to. Um, and when I went in May, it was half terms, it was manic, absolutely busy as anything. So, But I was still through checking and security within half an hour of parking, so that was very good. Um, but I'm going in the middle of term time still, so it should be a bit quieter, but then obviously too we, it's going to be busy because of people going on cruises etc so i'm going with jet two i've got a breakfast on board the flight the flight out is on the plane similar to what i came back on from ibiza it's known as an air explore which is one that's loaned by jet two so it's jet two crew it's got jet two on the tail on the wings on the side of the plane it's jet two crew that are on the plane so it's just a different aircraft to the normal jet two aircraft but it doesn't matter it gets you to Mallorca, so, you know, you start your holiday. Now, just a couple of other things. Um, on this trip, I'm going to obviously be doing lots of videos. So I'll be doing footage of before I leave for the airport, when I get there, in the terminal, in-flight, takeoff, in-flight, landing, because we'll be flying over the Pyrenees and heading over Barcelona and over the sea into Mallorca. So they should land around half 11. Tailwind might get there a bit earlier. The resort is about 70 kilometres from the airport down in Calabona. So there's the motorway from Palma straight across. Um, you go to the town of Manacor and then you head up a bit further before you turn off for Calamillo or Calabona. My hotel is literally across the road from the beach. So as soon as I come out of the hotel, I've got there's a bar I can sit downstairs and have a beer. I can go out of the hotel, go left and right for shops and restaurants and of course the beach. Um, the weather. It's forecast to be pushing 30. So according to what the BBC weather in Palma, Mallorca said, it, the temperature will feel like 35. So it's going to be really hot. So I'm not going to take any trousers to wear because it'll be too hot to wear them. I'll be wearing shorts, um, T-shirt, of course. And I've also heard off the Mallorca Under the Sun channel, which is Alex, that there's a lot of mosquitoes in Mallorca at the moment. So thankfully, the other day, I bought some repellent from work, which you basically spray on your skin, on your arms, your face, your legs, neck, wherever that's loot, that's um, exposed to the sun. You spray it on there, let it dry, then you put your sun cream on, and it's hopefully will deter the mosquitoes from biting you. Um, I'm not saying I won't get bitten, but it's just a precaution of t I'm going to take. I'm obviously going to take sun cream after sun. Um, so I'm staying in this Hotel Sur which also was, Alex had done a video on it, and even though it's only like a two to three store, she says the hotel was good, um, the rooms were nice, they were clean, the food was reasonable, and there was entertainment on in the bar downstairs, 
So it's it's adequate for what I want to do because the reason I'm going is so I can go and visit the caves of Drac, or the Drac caves, known in Spanish as the Dragon's Cave. So, and you go through four kilometers of caverns till you come to Lake Martel. And then you, you sit in like an amphitheater and then some boats come through with Spanish people playing music. So it's this orchestra basically in a cave. And then after that, you do a boat trip out towards the exit and then you walk out to the exit so it's over an hour tour so i've booked that through jack 2 as well so i've got a ticket so you get picked up just down the road from the hotel and you also get dropped back when you've done your trip as well so i'm, I'm looking forward to doing that sadly you're not allowed to take videos or photograph of the orchestra which is a shame but i'm sure people do do it i'd be very tempted to do it but i'm not going to do it i will just sit and listen um and obviously take photographs in the cave before and after as well. So um, just enjoy my couple of days out there before I fly back on the Friday and then head back to work later on the afternoon. So the Mallorca series is coming up very soon. So I'm looking forward to that. And obviously Dubrovnik's coming up in October, Prague in December. I'd like to get Portugal booked maybe in September, um, depending on the prices, etc. But I did, I did get a good deal on this one. It was less than 500 quid and, and obviously that was including of adding this, the, um, the trip and putting the discount code in through the MyJet2 app and of course the solo code of £30. So you put solo 30 in and it automatically knocks £30 off if you go on your own. If you've got a MyJet2 account, you it automatically knocks off 50 or 60 quid. So take advantage of that um, and you can also get 20% off insurance. So I was able to get some insurance for three days and it's cost about £12 using the TRV20 code which is on the MyJet2. You get 20% off insurance if you go on your own or if you go as a family or a couple um, or whatever. You put this code in TRV20 and it will knock off 20%. So it's very good. So in conclusion, um, the channel is still doing very well. It's going from strength to strength, of course. Um, it's pushing 130,000 views. The subscribers are over 225. So well done to everybody out there that's subscribing. Continue to subscribe. Continue to push this channel out there. Tell your friends about the channel. Um, if you want to look for my channel on on YouTube, you just type in at CarlSmith25. That's Carl with a K. All one sentence, at CarlSmith25. It'll come up with a picture of me with Darren Litton from the Benidorm series. And the channel is called Carl Smith Loves Travel and Exploring. If you're on Facebook, it's on my Facebook page. As well, if you were to go onto my Facebook account um, and request as a friend, whatever, it will say um, at Corsmith25 on my YouTube. My Instagram, you can find the link on there as well. So you can look for me on there. Um, so subscribe to the channel. Thank you to those that are watching and that like the videos. There are plenty more to come. I'm still uploading videos of holidays I've done. They seem to be generating a lot of interest as well. All the cruise ones are done as well, have been put on. So I've got a few more videos to put on of all of these I've done a couple of years ago. Um, but after that I'll be up to date. Um, but it'll be onwards to Mallorca in just over a week and a half's time. So I'm looking forward to that series. So I'll be very busy with that. So again, thank you for watching and good evening.